G'day Beaks and Beaks to Be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. Yeah, we're over at our Gumdale site and uh, just about ready to start uh, checking our hives to see how they're going. Uh, hopefully there'll be enough uh, honey in the top supers to extract again. Looks like we've got some chalk brood disease. You can see the mummies that are out on the front landing board where the bees have taken them out of the cells and left them out on the landing board. Early in the year, in 2009, at the end of summer, there was quite a lot of rain and there was a lot of chalk brood as the bees come under stress because they couldn't get outside to work. They, a lot of the beehives went backwards. These mummies on the landing board, the bees have taken them out of the cells and have just dropped them there. You, get, you can get some bees that are cleansing bees that'll take, take them all out and you'll get other bees that'll just leave them in the, in the, the cells. Yeah, well, it, it, it's, 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 young, it's young brood that hasn't developed and, and, and the disease has taken over in the cells. And then and the bees will, as I say, if they're cleansing type bees, they'll remove those dump, nummy, those nummies, nummies, those mummies out of the cells and outside of the hive. Other bees will just leave them in there and that can overtake the hive. Right, we're getting now into the inside of the hive. A little bit of brood. A little bit of brood. They're only working the one uh, one side of the of the brood. You need to divide divide it up so that they're working working the total uh, total width of the box. Some brood on that one. Yeah, you get more brood as we get over this uh, left hand side or right hand side. Yeah. All right, that, there's a mummy that I've just pulled out. This frame here has got quite a few mummies in it. It looks like they have been pulling them out. So what we'll do here, we'll, we'll pull I'll pull these out and help them to to clear it. Mummies can be all different sizes because they're at all different stages. Oh, that'll do you. If a larva is infected and cooled, spores may germinate in its body. The bees will check those cells out to see what is the problem with them. Yes, you're flicking them out now. Yep. I'll just, just help get rid, get rid of them out, out of the cells. There's quite a, in this particular frame, there's quite a few, quite a few few uh, chalk brood mummies in here. Do they cap the mummies? No. It, it, see there, see a little hole? The, the, the bees have opened up to see what's the matter with that cell. Now they have a chalk brood mummy in it. There's a black one. That means it's been there for a long time. It, it's an older one. What I generally do if the hive's strong, I generally put this frame up in the, in the honey super and within a couple of days I'll clean it out, but this particular hive is not strong enough to, to be able to do that with. Is there any other way to treat the, the hive besides that what you're doing? A uh, lot, lot of them kill the queen, put a new queen in, but you still got to get rid of, the, rid of all, the, all these mummies that, that are in here, otherwise there's no good putting a new queen in, otherwise you still have the same problem. See so, so where my hook is? Yeah. That's the start of a, start of a, a chalk, chalk brood mummy. Some, sometimes the uh, the bees will supersede the queen also because there's not enough bees in this particular hive to they're, they're, they're drawing a certain amount of it out out of the cells but there's, there's, there's just too much for them to uh, to completely draw the whole lot out so I'm just helping them to by taking some some of the mummies out many many as I can then we'll rearrange the uh, the brood brood super and I'll put a winter mat on this to keep to keep the warmth in if this hive was strong and put put the uh, put these brood up in, in the in the honey super for, for them to clean out. They clean this out within a couple of days to to put honey in. It's been in the brood chamber. It'll just get left there until they until they just gradually do it, or they could go backwards altogether. When bees come into stress, whether it is by reduced numbers in bees or by wet weather, chalk brood can become a problem. Do uh, chalk brood. Mummies in here. Yeah. What, what, what I do now is I wash my hands because the, the chalk brood disease is contagious. 
that's the that's the hot tool that I use for chalk, the, for pulling out my chalk brood mummies. It's a piece of uh, spoke from from a wheel, sharpened to a point, and a slight curve on the end. The queen, there's the queen. She's only a young queen. Yep. Nice young, nice young queen. That they've only been working this particular hive the one side. There's no honey in the brood chamber of this particular hive. The second super is empty and the top super is nearly full of honey. So what I need to do because it's coming into, into autumn, I need to put a frame of honey on, on each outside to give them a little bit of warmth and then we'll put a winter mat on there. Right, I'm taking a frame of honey out of the honey super and putting it into the brood super on the outside to give the bees some warmth because there's, there's no honey in the brood chamber and they need, need a fr at least one frame of honey in the brood chamber on each side of the outside of the brood super to retain warmth that's another one okay. you put two in then you put one one frame of honey on on each side to the outside wall of the of the brood super how is we're going to put a put a winter mat on to help keep warmth in the in the brood chamber so the queen will increase in numbers if you don't uh, keep the brood warm you'll find that this hive will go backwards and will probably die out Right, we've now got a frame of honey on, on the outside wall of each side. The winter mat overlays to that frame to keep the warmth in. What, what I'm doing now is, this bottom, bottom super here is empty. This one here is nearly full but it's got two of the empty frames from the brood chamber in it. I'll now knock this back to a two super high honey super. Anyway. You probably won't see him, but look on top of you. That, that's what that's what fell out as soon as I as soon as I uh, took the trap out. Six weeks. Six weeks. Yep. Yeah. This frame that I took out of the brood chamber, empty one, I put in the centre of the of the honey hive. It is the utmost importance that two frames on either side of the beetle traps. Are removed of all propolis and wax. I'll now put the trap back in now that we've emptied it. So as the beetle trap fits snugly in between the two frames and the cover fits snugly across the top otherwise the bees will propolise between the grooves in the trap. Uh, I don't want the beetles to, I don't want the bloody butt to take oh, it Right, this particular hive is now complete and it'll probably stay a double till, till early spring or till the, the blue gum and the iron bark starts to come out in force. Because at the present time with this super here that's got no honey in it, the sticky that was put on it six weeks ago, there's too much air space in the hive for the bees to keep, keep the hive warm. That's why we've put, really put a, a winter mat on. And it is now early April. So depending on the situation, you can put winter mats on early, early in, in, the, in the autumn, depending on the strength of your hive. Right, I'm just cleaning the entrance and getting all the mummy, all the chalk brood mummies off the uh, front entrance board of the hive to give them a better, better go at uh, cleaning the hive. This particular site only gets about four hours sunlight per day between spring and autumn. In winter, it gets less sunlight and the area seems to be a lot cooler than if it was in full sunshine. After the hive was reassembled, it survived the winter and became another productive hive in the apiary. All those little specks that's uh, on the ground there, they're, they're chalk brood disease which has been flipped out of the frame.